yeah, Moselak has to wear the pitching situation. I'll go back to winter warm up, folks. I've I've uttered this quote, repeated it from Mo a number of times on the stream, on the channel, on Spotify, B Shape Daily, and the like. What he said was, we didn't really go after, we didn't pursue the starting shortstop market. You had the guys like Correa and, and Bogarts, et cetera. We didn't really go into that market or the starting or the high end starting pitching market. We didn't delve into that this offseason. There were a lot of rumors that we did, but we didn't do it. Candidly, he said, we didn't really delve into those markets. Now we could look back on that. And I'm paraphrasing the quote, but he said, we could look back on that in six months as a strategic mistake from our front office. But our hope is that we won't view it that way and that we'll, we'll, we will have had enough to get us through. That's our hope. Yeah, wishful thinking. I think the Cardinals needed to address the pitching, but it's also not as simple. Like, this is the situation they're in. Fans say, well, you should have traded that outfield glut for a legit starter. Who would you have wanted to trade? Tyler O'Neill? Yeah, them too. I mean, I'm being honest with you. They they didn't want to trade Lars Newpar, and that's who other teams wanted. You could have traded probably Lars Newpar to get Pablo Lopez. Is Pablo Lopez your, an ace? I don't know. He's a good pitcher, better than anything they have. But then you lose Lars Newpar, and that's a guy that you actually want in your outfield. And they didn't want to spend money on a Carlos Rodon, and maybe rightfully so. Now he's hurt. They'd be getting no production out of him, too. And they'd be spending $170 million to do it, to outbid the Yankees. So, like, I'm going to acknowledge both sides of this, and you may not love to hear that. But, yes, Moselak needed to address the pitching in the offseason. No, he didn't find an effective way to do it. Like, I thought you trade Dakota Hudson to the Reds or to the Pirates or to the, you know, the Royals. I thought Hudson would have been a perfect Royal. You trade him to a team that's not expecting to contend. You trade him for a, a, a prospect or a non-prospect that's not even on the 40-man so that you don't have to cloud yourself with that. But you get a, a young lotto ticket and let those guys see if they can't you know, salvage the career of a guy who's otherwise going to be in Memphis for the Cardinals. I thought they should have done that with Woodford as well. Now they ended up needing Jake Woodford after he had a good spring. And so, you know, I, but I thought the best thing for both of those pitchers and honestly for the Cardinals would have been to clear those guys out for non-40-man prospects and it doesn't have to, I'm not talking about top prospects. I know what those guys are, and so did other teams. I thought it would have made sense to just clear the glut. Don't worry a ton about what you get in return. Just get something, a young player that doesn't have to go rule five for a while. A pitcher, if you can get one. But do that kind of move and then be willing to make a big, bold trade or a free agent signing for a legit starter. One of the short-term guys like a Verlander or a Scherzer, those might have made sense. Um, DeGrom, you know, the injury history of DeGrom, it just wasn't going to happen, and he's injured every other start. He's getting pulled with a no-hitter going. Like, it happens multiple times a year for Jacob DeGrom. So, like, Mo needed to have done more, but at the same time, the moves that were out there, I think, would have been painful. And so, you know, they get paralyzed by indecision a little bit at times, but I also think there's some some value to patience. But the bottom line is, it's not my job to get it right. It's his. And so I can sit on the sideline and critique and say, ah, they should have done this, should have done that. I try as best as I can to be fair and recognize the, that it's a difficult job that Mozeliak has. But you're head of the Cardinals. There's a tradition and a legacy on the line here. It's their jobs, the front office's job, and, and Mo leads it at the end of the day to make it happen. And they didn't this offseason. And they're kind of paying the price for it right now.